I could have everyone's attention, please. If I could have everyone's attention. First of all, uh, there's so many things I'd, I'd like to say. First of all, I want to introduce my wife, Jill, my daughter, Kristen, and my mom. Um, my sister is here. Where's Val? Val's here. My sister is here someplace. Val, come on up if you're here. Um, you know, you don't win an election by yourself. You win an election with so many people. And I had such a terrific team in East Haven. I had a terrific team in North Haven. I had a terrific team uh, led by my campaign manager, Bob Parisi, uh, in Wallingford, who's been with me yeah. since day one. And he's been one of, the, one of the biggest supporters of mine since I first entered the race. And I sincerely mean if it wasn't for Bob, I wouldn't have had a chance of, of even winning the first race, Bob. You know how much you mean to me in my election. Thank you so much. We had a great team out in Durham, the new town we picked up. What won this election was the outpouring of support from friends, relatives, and neighbors. All the lawn signs that went up, all the support of standing at the polls, talking to people over coffee, talking to people at lunch and dinner about the message we had. And I'm always overwhelmed when I win an election because I just feel that people, I, I'm so honored by, by being a state senator, and I'm so honored to serve in that chair, which I only have for a short period of, of history. And I know that, but I am just so, so honored. I also have to tell you that Dave Yaccarino has been an absolutely tremendous supporter of mine. His team has meant so much to me. I mean, Dave did not have an opponent, but he walked. Dave did not have an opponent, but he pressed me. Dave did not have an opponent, but he was out there telling people, vote for me, but you got to vote for Len, too. And I mean, you just don't see that in politics, but when it comes to Dave, he's not a politician. He's a regular guy who just does a great, great job for the town of Oak Haven. There's so many people to thank, and you make a mistake when you thank a lot of people, but there are a few people I have to point out as I point out, Bob. Chris Fletcher, a guy who has just been with me all the time, putting up with, with me, putting up with my anxiety, putting up with the pressure I put on him. I can't thank him enough, Fletch. You did such a great, great job. Christine Mulligan, my secretary. I don't know where she is, but she's here someplace over there. Christine, thank you so much. Mary Ann, Laurie, and Sue in, in, in East Haven. I mean, the list just goes, thank you guys. And where's Teddy? Where's Teddy? Teddy in the back there, yelling out the numbers, the driver, Teddy. I can't thank you guys enough. But listen, it's a great victory. We are going to change this state. We have had enough. It's time we lower taxes. It's time we bring jobs back. Get the unemployment down below 9%. It's time we get small businesses moving. It's time we think of the people and stop growing government. And we need to do that. Now this election, from what I'm seeing on some numbers, we're picking up a few seats in the Senate. And that's where the fight is. They picked up a lot of seats in the House. And that's a great job for folks like Dave and Larry Kefaro. But we're picking up seats in the Senate. We are going to put it to it because let me tell you, we can not let the state of Connecticut die. We cannot let, get it, let it be buried by high taxes and unemployment. We need to change this around. We can do it. It's going to take the people in this room to get busy in two years when we change the course of history in the state. Once again, I thank you so much. And now let me introduce the guy I have tremendous respect for, Representative Dave Yaccarino. Thank you very much. Uh, it's such a pleasure working for the people of North Haven and Len Pisano, Senator Pisano. I help Len like I would help anybody that works as hard as Len. He's done so much for our town and for our state, and that's what drove me. I would never have done that, but he's such a good person. He's done such a great job. For everybody out there from my campaign uh, committee, Frank, John, Jimmy, uh, 
I can't thank you enough, um, Ben, my treasurer. I have my campaign manager and my treasurer are Democrats. And like Len and myself, we represent all the people in North Haven. Yes, we're Republicans, but our job is to represent people. And that's what I strive to do every day while I'm in Harvard. Just finished my first term, and I've been fortunate not to have an opponent. But saying that, you don't take it lightly. You always have to work, and you have to get out there and listen to one another, and that's what we do. That's what a person, when you're in this position, you have to listen to all the people. Like I said, I'll say it over and over. I say it in Hartford, and I'll say it in town. You have to listen to people, and that's how you do a better job. But I want to thank everybody. My mom's here, my daughter, my son Dave's at graduate school. He should be here any minute. My sister-in-law, Tanya, I love you very much. Uh, I wish more people were here, you know, as far as family, but it's, people were spread out all over the place. You didn't have an opponent. I didn't have a <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I know. <laughs> but, uh, but we have a serious problem in our state. We do have to pick up seats in the House in the Senate. And we will pick up some seats in both, both uh, houses, the Senate and, and, uh, and our house. But we have to. We can't have to do what we did two years ago, have the largest tax increase in the history of our state. And we're still in a deficit. We're running out of money to op operate on a daily basis. We lost our property tax exemption two years ago for families, full exemption. We need to reinstate that, but we need people around the state to listen. Not just because we're nice guys or nice women, but people, what we do, what we do, we should follow what we do. And I've always said that federal politicians are great, but what we do is so critically important. And on a daily basis, on a monthly basis, you, follow, you should follow what we do. It's an honor serving the people of North Haven, Connecticut. It's an honor working with Len Pisano. I've learned so much from Len. I've learned a lot from our first selectman, but really, Len, it's just, it's just been a pleasure, and I, I did it from, from my heart. And, uh, I want to thank you for joining me. Just a few more things. Town committees. Anybody here? I know people are here from Wallingford, North Haven, East Haven, and Durham. Look, town committees are critical to any election, and I can't express what town committees have done in my election. Without the hard work of the chairs and the members, you can't win an election. If you want to make a difference and you want to make a change, get involved with your town committees because that's where it begins. Now, next thing I'd like to do, I want to bring up a gentleman who I consider is just an uh, uh, unbelievable guy. He's out there running for Congress, who's done a great job, and I want him to address you as we still wait for some of those numbers to come in because he is a classy, classy individual and has a very good message. Ladies and gentlemen, Wayne Winsley. First of all, let me just start by saying, not quite conceding yet. They're still counting votes, so I'm going to wait a minute. But I want to say this, first of all. Thank you, one and all, for all the support and the hard work that you've all put in for him to help this campaign because 